discussing the chapter similarity and here we will be discussing some of the basic concepts so here we will first of all see similar triangles now when two triangles are said to be similar two triangles are said to be similar if their corresponding angles are equal corresponding angles are equal and their corresponding sides are proportional we will understand this with the help of an example we will here we will take two triangles triangle 1 we will name it triangle a b c and second triangle we will name it triangle p q r now the two triangles triangle a b c and triangle p q r will be similar when their corresponding angles are equal here the corresponding angles are angle a and angle p are corresponding angles that is angle a is equal to angle p similarly angle b and angle q are corresponding angles that is angle b is equal to angle q similarly angle c and angle r are corresponding angles that is angle c is equal to angle r so the two triangles will be similar when their corresponding angles are equal and when their corresponding sides are proportional so here we will see what the sets of corresponding sides here the first set of corresponding sides are ab and pq we will write it as ab upon pq the second set of corresponding sides is ac and pr it is ac upon pr and the third set of corresponding side is bc and qr that is bc upon qr so the two triangles will be similar when their corresponding sides are proportional corresponding sides are proportional means that the ratio between the length of the corresponding sides are equal now so the two triangles will be then similar and we symbolically write it as triangle a p c is similar to triangle p q r thing about corresponding sides what are corresponding sides the angle the sides opposite to equal angles are called corresponding sides here we will see how to find the corresponding sides in similar triangles and we will understand this with the help of an example for example we will take two triangles our first triangle we will name it as triangle a b c and the second triangle we will name it as triangle p q r now in first case if we assume that angle a is equal to angle p angle a is equal to angle p so what will be the set of corresponding sides as told corresponding sides are the sides the sides opposite to equal angles here the equal angles are angle a and angle p no the side opposite to angle a here is bc and the side opposite to angle p here is qr hence our corresponding sides are bc and qr these are the corresponding sides now this was an easy example now we will see a second example where we will see that angle a is equal to angle q we will assume that angle a is equal to angle q now in this case we will find our corresponding sides corresponding sides are the sides the sides opposite to equal angles and here in our second example angle a and angle q are equal angles the side opposite to angle a is bc and the side opposite to angle q here the side opposite to angle q is pr so hence bc and pr are our corresponding sides in our second example
Similarly, now we will take a third example where we will assume angle A is equal to angle R. Angle A is equal to angle R. And in this we will find the corresponding sides. Corresponding sides are the sides, the side opposite to equal angles. So here we can see the side opposite to angle A is BC and angle R, the side opposite to angle R is PQ. Hence, BC and PQ will be our corresponding sides. Hence, in this way, we find our corresponding sides. Here, we will be discussing how to write the order of vertices of similar triangles. We will understand this with the help of an example. So, here for in our example, we will take two triangles. Triangle A, B, C and a second triangle. Triangle P, Q, R. Now, here we will assume that angle A is equal to angle P. Angle B is equal to angle Q. And angle C is equal to angle R. It is angle A is equal to angle P. Angle B is equal to angle Q. And angle C is equal to angle R. Now, order of the vertices of two similar triangles is, that is, as we know, we write two similar triangles as triangle A, B, C is similar to triangle. Now, as we know, uh, angle A is equal to angle P and here A is occupying the first position. Since angle A is equal to angle P, while writing triangle PQR, the P should be in the first position because angle P is equal to angle A. Similarly, here B is occupying the second position. Hence, B and B is equal to angle Q. Hence, Q will occupy the second position here. And angle C is equal to angle R. And here, angle C is occupying the third position. Hence, here also, angle R will occupy the third position. In this way, we write the order of vertices. We will understand more this with the help of the second example. Here also, we will take two triangles. Our first triangle will be triangle D, E, F. And a second triangle will be triangle P, Q, R. In this, we will assume that angle D is equal to angle Q. Angle D is equal to angle Q. Angle E is equal to angle P. Angle E is equal to angle P. And our angle F will be equal to angle R. Angle F will be equal to angle R. Now, while writing that the two triangles are similar, how we will write it? We will see here. We will write it as triangle D, E, F. Triangle D, E, F is similar to triangle. Now, here ang angle D is equal to angle Q and here angle D is occupying the first position. Hence, here Q. Q will also occupy here the first position. Now, angle E is occupying here second position and angle E is equal to angle P. So, angle P will here also occupy the second position. P and here F is occupying the third position and angle F is equal to angle R. Hence, angle R will also occupy the third position. So, we will write it as triangle D E F is similar to triangle Q P R. So, here we will be discussing about the conditions of similarity that is on the, on the basis of which we prove how the two triangles are similar. So, our first condition is the SAS is also called side angle side. Now, what does this SAS theory say? It says that if one angle of a triangle is equal to any angle of the other triangle and in both the triangles, the sides including the equal angles are in proportion, then the triangles are similar. Now, we will understand this with the help of an example. Here, we will be taking two triangles. Triangle A, B, C. 
and triangle P Q R. In this, if angle A is equal to angle P, angle A is equal to angle P. As the theory says, if one angle is of a triangle is equal to any angle of the other triangle. So here we have taken like angle A is equal to angle P. And it further says that and in both the triangles, the sides including the equal angles are in proportion. Now in triangle ABC, the equal angle is A. The sides including the angle A are AB and AC. And the side including the angle P in triangle PQR is PQ and PR. The theory says that the sides including the equal angles are in proportion. That is the side AB and the side PQ. This is the first set and the second set will be the side AC and the side PR. They should be in proportion. That is the ratio between the length of these sides must be equal. If these two conditions are satisfied, then we write as by SAS triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. Our second condition of similarity is AA or AAA that is angle angle theory. It states that if two triangles have at least two pairs of corresponding angles equal, the triangles are similar. We will understand this with the help of an example. Here we will take two triangles, triangle A, B, C and triangle P, Q, R. Now it states that if two triangles have at least two pair of corresponding angles equal, that is if triangle ABC and in triangle PQR, angle A is equal to angle P and angle B is equal to angle Q, that is angle A and P are equal and angle B and angle Q are equal. If two pair of corresponding angles are equal then by we write it as a a triangle a b c is similar to triangle p q r so the two if two pair of corresponding angles are equal then the two triangles are similar but why we call it as triple a that is a a a we call it as triple a because as we know the sum of a triangle or all the angles of a triangle is 180 and if the two angles of one triangle are equal to are equal to the two other angles of another triangle then the third angle will also be equal hence we also call it as the a a a hmm. and we can also verify examples that why this is called triple A. Here we will take two triangles, triangle A, B, C and triangle P, Q, R, where angle A will be equal to angle P and angle B will be equal to angle C. Angle A is equal to angle P and angle B will be equal to angle Q. Now here we will assign some value to our angles like we will assume that angle A is equal to 30 degree and angle B is equal to 60 degree. Since angle A is equal to angle P then the value of angle P will be equal to the value of angle A that is angle P will also be equal to 30 degree. Similarly since angle B and angle Q are equal the value assigned to angle B will be the same for angle Q that is then angle Q will also be 60 degree. Now in triangle ABC as we know the sum of all the angles of a triangle is 180 so we will find angle C this is angle A plus angle B plus angle C will be equal to 180 degree. 
Our angle A was 30 degree, angle B was 60 degree and we have to find angle C that is equal to 180 degree. Angle C will be equal to 180 degree minus 30 degree minus 60 degree. The angle C will be equal to 90 degree. Now similarly in triangle PQR angle P plus angle Q plus angle R will be equal to 180 degree. Our angle P was 30 degree, angle Q was 60 degree and we will here find angle R. Angle R will be equal to 180 degree minus 30 degree minus 60 degree. Angle R will be equal to 90 degree. So now here we can see our angle C and angle R are equal because as you can see here angle A and angle P were equal and angle B and angle Q were equal. Since the two angles of a triangle were equal to two other angles of the other triangle, the third angle are automatically equal. Hence, this double A is also called the triple A theory. Mm. So, our next condition of similarity is the SSS theory, that is the side, side, side. So, this theory says that if two triangles have their three pairs of corresponding sides proportional, then the triangles are similar. We will understand this with the help of an example. We will take two triangles, triangle A, B, C and triangle P, Q, R. So first of all here we will see the corresponding sides. The first set of corresponding sides are AB and PQ. AB and PQ. The second set of corresponding sides are AC and PR. And the third set of corresponding sides is BC and QR. So our theory says that if two triangles have their three pairs of corresponding sides proportional. Now proportional means that the ratio between the length of the corresponding sides must be equal. That is AB and PQ are corresponding sides. That is AB upon PQ, AC upon PR and BC upon QR. The ratio between the length of corresponding sides should be equal. If this condition is satisfied, then triangle ABC will be similar to triangle PQR and we write it as by SSS. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR.